Hello everyone, I'm Teresa and these are the oracle messages for November. Welcome back to another oracle of the month. I hope you had a wonderful October with all the spookiness and fun that comes with it. But now it's time to focus on November, so let's see the messages that the cards have in store for us this month. If you are new, you just need to take a few seconds to focus on the cards and choose which one is calling out to you. Don't worry if more than one calls you out, you can listen to the advice of all of them if that is what you feel like doing. After choosing, I will reveal the cards one by one and explain them, okay? It's very easy. Are you ready? Let's go pick a card. Let's see the first card of this month and for the first card we have the giraffe. Okay, giraffe spirit has the message, see the big picture. This is an amazing animal to start the month. The giraffe is a very tall animal, as you know, and has the advantage to see things from um, a higher perspective. They can see the big picture, the overall landscape. So what this card wants you to do is exactly that see the big picture. Observe your situation and how the small things are influencing the overall outcome. Now it's not the time to be entirely focused on the small details, okay? You may have been so hyper-focused on the smaller things that you are oblivious to the extent the influence those small things have in your big picture. Sometimes the tiniest of things can have um, a ripple effect and change your big picture. So November is um, a month to be taken slowly and with some caution, okay? You need to be calm and observant. Observe what is really happening around you, like a giraffe would from its higher point of view. A good way to do this is, for example, to write things down, what is happening um, at the moment in your life. Are you working towards a goal? What do you need to do in order to achieve it? What are the things that you can control? And what is out of your control? Writing things down can help out immensely and you will be able to focus on the important things while accepting what you can't change instead of just struggling with it. Now to pair up with the giraffe we have center yourself. Okay. Take a few deep breaths to regain your center. Now you can approach life from a more mindful place. Let me put them side by side. So this is a lovely card. This will help you out a lot when trying to step back and evaluating your big picture, okay? You are probably feeling um, out of focus or unsure about future steps and finding your center will help you. Remember that while this card tells you to take a few deep breaths, you may need further action to regain your center, okay? There is absolutely no problem if that is the case. But if you find yourself navigating a stressful day, take a break. Sit down, close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Take deep breaths, okay? Let your body and mind refocus, find their center. You can do this multiple times per day if needed, and some days we truly need it. Finding your center can also be going out to see the ocean, to listen to your favorite song, or just taking a warm shower to rinse the bad energies away. Follow whatever serves your purpose to realign your energy. If you start doing this as frequently as your body asks, you will be able to be more present, more mindful, and more conscious of your decisions. Now for the second pair of cards we have... Oh, the cat, the kitty cat. <laughs> Our lovely cat companion has the message, claim your independence. I always love how everyone attributes independence uh, with cats and the more I know cats, the less I think of them as 
independent literal creatures. <laughs> However, Cat Spirit wants you to claim your independence this November, okay? Whether it is work or relationship related, you are being called to be independent, to be mindful of your space and to keep a healthy boundary between you and what can um, easily wrap you in a cycle of dependency or addiction. Is there someone new in your life? Sometimes new friendships or relationships of whatever nature can feel enticing enough to leave us hanging on to it every second of every day. The sense of something new, the adventure of a fresh start, the discovery, all of that can lead us to forget about ourselves as individual beings and just act with regards of this new situation. And for a little while that may work, but soon your self-neglect will be seen and felt, okay? The constant eagerness can be taken as a step too close, um, an invasion of the other's safe space. But of course, everything I just said can be related to relationships as it can be related to work, to projects and so forth. There are many things we can relate to it, okay? So take this time to see where you are lacking to show your independence. Where are you diving too deep without a rescuing float? Stay calm, claim your independence and be more aware of yourself when sharing and when giving parts of yourself, okay? Good things take time and only when we respect ourselves as individuals can we welcome change, growth, evolution and happiness. Okay, so... Now, to put up with the cat, we have tap into your spiritual power, okay? Reach out to a power greater than yourself to help solve a dilemma. Stay open to its guidance in your life. Let's see. Here, side by side. <laughs> okay, so, a lot of work for you that picked up the second pair of cards. But the good news is that November will be truly a month to dive deep into yourself, okay? Claiming your independence is an important step, but tapping into your spiritual power will be a big part of it, okay? During this quest for your independence, it's important to connect with your spiritual side, sitting down with yourself and reaching out to the, um, the greater unconscious that connects us all. Allow your spirit to guide you in the right direction. Allow your soul to speak with you when you sit in silence with it, when you sit in silence with yourself. When dilemmas show up, take time to solve them. Don't just rush to a quick way to fix them because they'll come back, okay? Really take time, dive deep and seek the solution that will push you forward. Remember that life is filled with things greater than us. And when we learn to listen to their wisdom, the wisdom that exists all around us, can we navigate the world in a smoother and more fulfilled way? Okay, third stack of cards. And if you pick this one, then your spirit animal is the lizard dream the world into being the lizard of this card always looks like a little mystical dragon to me especially due to these little wings which brings us to the realm of dreams dream the world into being are you paying attention to your dreams and uh, here i mean both life dreams that are your goals as i mean your actual dreams the images, the sounds and feelings you get every time you close your eyes. Are you paying attention? Are you listening to them? Actively following them? November is the month to do just that, okay? Pay attention to your dreams. Let yourself be absorbed by them and try to understand them. What are they telling you? Pay attention, write them down, work for them. Dream the world into being, find what your dreams are trying to give you and work your way to get it. Find inspiration, strength and motivation in your dreams so you can pursue them, okay? Dreams have an amazing power to shed light into our hearts, especially into things our mind tries to block out to protect us from heartbreak or sadness. If you don't take risks, especially when it comes to dreams, you will never live them. We can't follow our head 
without feeding it a little bit of heart too. Finding balance between them and making them work towards the, um, the same goal, the same dream. So lay down, close your eyes, allow yourself to drift away. What is your heart telling you? What images are being woven in your imagination? What smells or sounds are sneaking in? Let yourself reconnect with your dreams and bring them into reality. Dream your world into a reality. Now let's see the pair of the lizard. See your emotions as teachers. Okay, emotions can be vehicles for transformation, whether joyous or challenging. They can teach you how to overcome fear and cultivate compassion. Amazing pair for the lizard, first of all. <laughs> emotions are often seen as a weakness, but they are actually what makes us stronger, okay? The more in tune we are with our emotions, the better we control them, the more we understand them and are able to listen to them as guides for our daily lives. It doesn't matter if they are positive or negative emotions, you need to allow yourself to feel them deeply. Connect with them and see them as teachers. Why is this making you sad? What is that sadness teaching you? The same is valid for the happy emotions. Why are you feeling excited and happy? What created this emotion in you and how can you learn from it? Happy and sad emotions are intertwined and will influence each other. For example, you can be experiencing a time of happiness or even euphoria. But without the proper management of these emotions, it can cause you to be unaware to consequences, okay? Uh, the consequences of following them blindly. And this can lead to disappointment, to heartbreak, to setbacks. And when this happens, you start to avoid moments of happiness again, fearing, fearing to fall into the same trap as before. So take time to learn the lessons of every emotion you feel, good and bad ones. They are teachers and we must feel them to learn from them. So fear doesn't stop us from enjoying life. Okay, last pair for this month and we have a reversed card. Okay, it's a reversed card to close the animal spirits. This is the chameleon. The chameleon has the message, act as if. Okay, we all know that the chameleons are masters of acting as if. <laughs> camouflaging themselves in order to fit in. They adapt, they change and blend, so they aren't noticed. But this is a reversed card, okay? So, are you acting too much as if? Changing yourself so strongly to fit into other people's needs that you are forgetting who you truly are? Are you using it as a coping mechanism in order to avoid your own feelings or distresses? You don't need to fit in all the time. You don't need to be another face in the crowd. Sometimes it's good to stand up and be different, to be the voice that disrupts the pattern. There is no shame in being unique, in embracing your true colors. So don't allow yourself to be um, swallowed by the need to be accepted, okay? If your true colors aren't loved by those around you, well, you may need to reach out to other branches and meet people that radiate the same energy as yourself. Make peace with being disliked and move on to better things, okay? If you don't show who you truly are, you will never attract or even meet people similar to you, because they will think you are another face in the crowd. Follow what ignites your passion, go to your favorite coffee shop, your favorite band concert, talk with people whose energy matches yours, and you soon will notice you don't always need to change your colors to be accepted or to fit in. Very last card of the month, keep her up with the chameleon, is watch for the cosmic, oops, <laughs> watch for the cosmic wink. Okay. Magic comes when spirit winks at us. Stay aware of synchronicities that provide unexpected answers. Positive forces are always at play in your life. So this is a good card. 
Synchronicities will happen, so pay attention to them. They can give you answers you are being closed to understand, but if you pay attention, you will realize that the answers are there for you. And when you find your answers, you will find the little bits of magic that life has to offer. I know it's very easy to deem coincidences as sheer coincidence, dumb luck and so on, but everything has a reason. If you had taken the stairs instead of the elevator, you wouldn't bump into the same person each morning. If you hadn't taken your coffee to go and stayed in for a few more minutes instead, you could have stayed stuck in the traffic jam that happened minutes after you drove by. See what I mean? Little things have meaning, but we are so used to overlook things that we often forget to value them. So start paying attention at the small signs of the universe, the tiny ways the cosmic forces are giving you a wink of magic and you will see that the answers you need are right there for you to find. These were the oracle messages for this month. I hope every one of you had a good and helpful message. This was the first time using the stack here on YouTube. I forgot to mention it earlier as I suddenly felt the urge to use it this month. I used the, the spirit, um, spirit Animal Oracle deck. You are familiar with it by now. And the Empaths Empowerment deck. I really like both of these decks, but I hadn't tried them out together and I'm quite pleased with the outcome. So let me know if you enjoyed this month's reading with these two decks working together. Remember to give this video a supportive thumbs up before leaving and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can find me on other social platforms linked on the description box and there you can also find my Ko-Fi link where you can donate to help support my videos at the small price of a coffee cup. Have a wonderful month of November. I will see you on the next video. Stay safe and have fun. Bye.